Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here, and today in Solar's Monster Analysis video, I'm going to be going over Kalita, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not you should get her out of her current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Kalita is an attacker, and her traits are Fear Immunity, Burn, and Ignite Immunity, and then Status Caster Burn. So all of her traits are just kind of bad, all those are just not good. And then her relics are Sword and Mask, which are actually pretty good. Then if we go on down to her pros and cons, her pros are access to AoE Stun as an attacker, which is really good. She also has a single target. 70 metal damage skill and a light meta which doesn't really matter and then it has metal and a light meta that's basically the same pro i don't know why they put it twice and then she also has good relic slots she has access to burn ignite and daze which are all pretty decent and she has great stats and her cons are awful trait of course and then bland move pull walled by megatont and then high cooldowns and stamina costs on best skills so let's go on down to her moves so she has a 70 metal damage she has a 70 fire damage both of those are very basic moves but they do quite a bit of damage then she has an aoe 40 metal damage with stun and daze which is pretty decent there's also three moves that you can pick from down here which is a burn and ignite with one cooldown which is pretty good and that also does 30 fire damage and then an aoe 30 metal damage with daze and zero cooldown and then a 30 fire damage with burn and zero stamina and zero cooldown so that's kind of cool that she has a zero stamina, zero cooldown move, but I would still probably go with this zero cooldown one right here, the AoE. Just because you only have one AoE move up here and it has three cooldowns, so you won't be able to use it very often. So yeah, pretty decent moves that I guess. They're all just kind of very basic, but they're still pretty good. And yeah, her traits are really bad, but yeah, go and try to get her anyway, just because she is, of course, in a breeding event, and breeding events are very easy to get monsters out of. So just because she's in a breeding event, that means that she is worth getting. So yeah, go and get this monster out of the breeding event, and go and use this moveset with the second move, for Marley, or however you say that. You could use the other two moves, but I do think that this one is kind of better. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think is the best moveset for this monster, and I'll see you guys in the next next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye